brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Uh, just give you a little backstory. My wife and I are debt free. We're saving up for our emer- fully funded emergency fund right now, and then uh, we plan on to start investing from there um, to fund our retirement. Um, oh. But yeah, so we're super blessed. Um, grateful to be debt free. But so my question is though, how can we? Can we be sure that the dollar is going to maintain its value over the next 30 years since we are going to be investing and following, you know, what you guys recommend in like mutual funds, 401k? Like, should we be worried about the economy or what are you guys' take on that? Where's that question coming from? It's a, it's a question I hear all over the the. I mean, I hear that question everywhere, and I've actually st- lost many a night's sleep over that question. Where, where are you getting it from? <laughs> uh, so, you know, I'm, a, I'm, you know, I have some friends, and they're talking about, you know, Bitcoin and all these cryptocurrencies, and I'm not going that route. But I don't have a, you know, when they say, well, what about the dollar? I don't really have a good answer or a rebuttal as to why dollar is going to you know, maintain its value over something like cryptocurrency. So I just wanted to get, so I guess it's coming from, you know, what is trending. It's just kind of in the air. Yeah. I'm going to give you my very um, primitive answer. And George, who's way smarter on this stuff, will give you a a more sophisticated (laughs) answer. Um, Okay. Can I guarantee anything over the next 30 years? No, you can't. But here's what I can, can guarantee you. If the U.S. dollar, if we woke up one day and the U.S. dollar had collapsed as a global currency, as a as a localized currency, Bitcoin would not save you. Having an alternative, oh, okay, we've got this special um, email account with these special zeros and ones and ones and zeros in it that say it's worth stuff. Because Every, every the world's debt is in U.S. dollars. Bitcoins are bought and traded in U.S. dollar. Everything revolves around that. And so when people are calling for the collapse of the dollar, I can't guarantee you it's not going to happen. What I will guarantee you is you'll be fending off your neighbor because they're going to be trying to kill you for your water. <laughs> like it's it's or okay. you're going to be figuring out how to walk 30 miles to work to an office that doesn't exist anymore because there's no gas to put in a car. Like it will, it will so change the way we do life for a while that, right. um, as one of my buddies told me, he's a, he's a bank executive and he said, Hey, cause I was just peppering him with these questions. And it was actually the, the response that freed me. He looked at me and said, Hey man, I don't have a meteorite plan. I don't have a plan for if the world gets hit by a meteorite, I'm not, I'm not building that <laughs> world up. Right, I will deal with that if it happens. But until then, I'm going to do the next best, smart, right thing that I got, which is buy real estate and invest wisely. Right. And so oh, I think most good. most people don't have a, a what kind of scorched earth it would be if Wall Street goes away. Right. Definitely. No, that's that's super good. All right. Every that was my that was my uh, my <laughs> my uh, dragons and like swords answer what do you think george i fell asleep about three seconds uh, of that John. I, I know you did i was bored to t- no i'm just kidding that was a really good <laughs> answer and uh, i have similar things to say but i'll add to that and tell you this my my i grew up in a very evangelical household my mom like can't wait for jesus to come back right like we she sang the songs she watched left behind like we were all in and so my thing is always like jesus could come back tomorrow and that could waste all of the effort i made trying to save up this retirement account but also what if it's not tomorrow and i still have to feed my family and I kind of feel the same way about the crypto. Like, yes, the dollar could get devalued. I don't think it's going to collapse. If that happened, we're not worried about crypto, like John said. We're worried about feeding, you know, trading for gas and ammo at that point. And so to your point, I'm going to invest 15% into mutual funds in the stock market because for decades and decades and decades, I know there's a large chance of a 10% return. With crypto, I'm losing sleep because 24-7, that number is moving and the goalpost is moving, and now it's down 50%, but now it's up 1,000%, and what if I had just gotten in, and instead I just want to live with peace. I want to sleep well at night. I got to go to work right. in the morning. And so for that reason, it's fine to keep those friends around. They're probably good guys, well-meaning, who want to take care of their families too, but it's not a peaceful way to live. And so for that reason, it's fine to put fun money in Bitcoin, but I'm also not going to do it under the guise of my paranoia apocalyptic plan. 
that I'm going to be the one to survive it if I put money in crypto. Hey, Joseph, I'm going to ask a question on your behalf to George. Is that, is that right? Okay, he's smarter on this stuff than I am. Uh, yeah. George, I remember doing an event uh, with Jocko once, and at the end of the event, he, he said to the audience, um, we were both on stage there, and he said, we talk a lot about military stuff. We talk a lot about might and, and our you know Navy SEALs' ability. But he said the thing that the U.S. has it is um, the small business. It's the e- economics, the economy. Oh, yeah. And as I dug into that, because I started asking people, like, is that true? Is that I mean, is that, that sounds good from a stage, but is that right? And what one <laughs> finance wizard told me, and again, I'm asking you because who knows, but said when a country says we're going to devalue the dollar – and they have bought U.S. Treasuries. They have an invest, a vested interest in the U.S. economy that they actually are going to lower the amount that we owe them. And so the 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 advantage we have is if a country is like, we're going to try to crash the dollar, then the, the investments that they have made go away. Right? It hurts them financially. It hurts them significantly. And so my understanding is the world's debt essentially traffics in U.S. dollars. And so if a group of countries get together and like, let's crash the dollar, you can do that. And it may be, uh, may be to your advantage over 100 years, but it's going to be ugly, right? Mm-hmm. Because you're crashing the amount you're actually owed back. Yeah. And as much debt as we have, we have a lot of friends out there, John. And yeah. so they go, hey, that's my friend. You don't mess with them because they're protecting us. And so – it's a very it's you get it's into geopolitics and economics and Joseph I'm not smart enough to answer that question on that end but I just tell you what I what I do what John does and that's investing in our 401k's and IRAs paying off our houses and sleeping well at night not looking at our investments 24/7 that was the, uh, Joseph and, and George that was the, well, that was what ultimately when I was where Joseph was I was spinning out man I wasn't sleeping for weeks I was asking everybody all the time ultimately I came to what can I control here and if it all goes away, if I don't owe anybody anything, then there's not going to be somebody knocking on my door and say, that's mine, right? Whether it's a car, whether it's a house, whether it's land, whatever it is. If I don't owe anybody anything, then there's not going to be somebody. Somebody might co- try to come take it, but they're not going to be saying, hey, that's actually mine. Yeah. And that to me feels like the, the smartest hedge is I don't owe anybody anything. Let's mm-hmm. start there. Joseph, thank you for a great conversation, man. Hope it helped. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.